Hello, Possums, Jonah Smith here on Alphacraft at my base. Oh, there's so much I still have to do. I really, really need to work on the town hall. It's still just a shell of what it could be. Mm, yeah, we could do that. Still need to do the corner shop here and the corner shop there. We could do that. Still got to make the brick factory with the little cement works on the side. Could do that. But you know what? I think I want to play with trains today. And I think I want to do it as a time lapse. So what you've just seen is about oh, four hours worth of work compressed into a handful of minutes. <laughs> Replays are cool, but they can be a little bit demoralizing for those of us who do them. But oh, I've had such fun playing with my train set today and I loved getting the goods wagons out of their boxes again and back on the rails. So. The engine, there's a tutorial coming out for it. 
Oh, it's doing that weird head bobbing thing. I don't know why it does that. There is a tutorial for this engine. It's an LNER J52 or a GNR J13 <laughs> saddle tank engine. I know too much about trains now. And nowhere near enough as well. So there we are. There is a tutorial for that. I had so much fun doing this tunnel mouth and it's funny how it lifts the whole area. It's gone from just being a hole in the side of a mountain, on the side of a hill, to actually being a proper tunnel. And we've got a little plaque up there with the date of completion because a lot of tunnels, particularly in Victorian times, had plaques saying this is when we finished it because they were rightly proud of their work. And speaking of being proud of my work, <laughs> I want to show you this. <gasps> Blackstone and basalt, how I love thee. I haven't finished this, but I can finally make the roof of this tunnel smoky and dirty and sooty. Now, I've only done the ceiling so far. I want to continue it down the walls, probably in an uneven line to about here. I'm thinking of taking those out. I think they're a bit stark. But I have done this. Let's get up on the rails. Blech. I have done this all the way down. It's probably getting too dark to see. Plus I'm running off the rails. Oh, I went off the rails years ago. Who are we kidding? But I can hear you. You're still around. This is now done all the way down on the ceiling. But as you can see, not on the walls at all. And there are still pillagers hanging around. Oh, back out in the sunlight at last, but with the sun going down, that'd be right. And isn't it funny, you know, I, I did the footbridge, which I love, although I've got to admit I still hop across the buffers because it's quicker. Designed a new engine, did the tunnel, and what's the thing I like the most, that I get the most satisfaction out of? <laughs> this funny little, why have I got that there? This funny little station shelter. This is what I love the most out of the things I've built. Well, the things I've built today for the train. Just this odd little shelter. It's got seating, it's got a bin. It's got a little timetable sign. Tiny little build. And it's the one I get the most satisfaction from. I have been coming here and just standing in here and enjoying the new little platform. <laughs> There's one last thing I want to show you, although it'll have to wait till the sun comes up, but let's use the new footbridge. Woohoo! I'll see you guys in a minute. So a couple of things to point out. There's no um, door on this side of the coal wagon or on this side of the little goods van down there because the banners sort of stop it. I mean... Maybe I should get rid of the banners on this side. And, oh, see, it wouldn't help that because, see, I've got the actual wall of the carriage there. So little design changes that have had to be made just to fit with the way Minecraft works. But, you know, that's what we do. So down here, this is what I wanted to show you. I have got two extra lines coming off the turntable because that is where the engine shed is going. I know I've said it before, but now I've got it planned out. It's going to be big enough to hold three engines and I can actually start designing that now. I'm wondering if I should put in a water tower and a coaling tower. I really should, but I'm wondering about space, but they'll go here and I don't know what to do about a signal box. <laughs> Probably should go down just this side of the tunnel, but oh, it's a bit cramped for space. It really is. So I know this episode is a bit short, but it actually contains a whole lot of work. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to have to love you and leave you. But if you still want to keep watching, and I really hope you do, there's end cards on the screen now. So click on those, go watch some more of my stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.